Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious chicken wrap. So let's get started. To make the wrap, I'm using chicken breast, but you can also use chicken thigh. Next, I'm going to cut the chicken breast into thin strips. While I'm slicing the chicken breast, if you're new here, you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, also turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video, you'll be the first to get it. Do not forget to share this video with your friends and family. But in that food, don't do man. Dina Musi, yes, yes, in me, child. Every gamuta, yes, yes, in me. Me, well, and Gabasio. Mrs. Joy, me, well, we are. After slicing the chicken breast, next I transfer to a clean bowl then keep it aside for use later. Next step is to add all the seasoning in one plate. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of chicken seasoning, then add one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of crushed black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one and a half teaspoon of salt, then add two teaspoon of onion powder for that flavor after that i mix together until it's well well combined after mixing together until it's well well combined next step is to bring back the chicken breast then add five teaspoon of the seasoning mix i'm using this method to make it easier to understand but you can just add it straight to your chicken but this method is better because the remaining seasoning you're going to add in your flour so next add half of an egg depending on the size of your chicken but i'm adding half of an egg because one egg will be too much next mix together until it's well well combined after that keep it to marinate for at least one hour or next day Next, in a clean plate, add 4 tablespoons of plain flour, then add the remaining seasoning. Yes, do you see how easy it is? Add it in, mix it together until it's well combined. After that, keep it aside for use later. One hour later, the chicken breast is well marinated. Please marinate your chicken breast or even marinate till the next day for more flavor. So next, I'm going to take the chicken breast, then transfer to the flour. Make sure it's covered with the flour. Repeat this step with all the chicken breast. After that, transfer to the next plate. Keep it for frying. My brother, I love my husband. Once the chicken breast is ready, covered with flour, the next step is to fry. Here I have my pan in a medium high. To that, I'm adding vegetable oil, one tablespoon. Then transfer the chicken breast. With this chicken breast, to fry it, you need a non-stick pan because you don't want to fry it with too much oil. The non-stick pan will do the job for you. So fry for at least six minutes, flip over, and continue frying for another five minutes. At this point, you can take out your chicken breast, but this is how I like my chicken breast. I like to fry it until it's a little bit burnt. So I fried mine for at least 20 minutes. So depending on your preference, you can just take it out 
after 11 minutes so at this point i took it out and keep it aside for use later then fry the remaining one look at this yumminess do you see that so so yummy in the same pan add a tablespoon of vegetable oil then transfer the remaining chicken breast fry for six minutes flip over and continue frying for another five minutes after that remove it and keep it aside to wrap it's very very easy to make and if you've been going to take away like mcdonald's wherever kfc to buy wrap after making this wrap at home you stop going there they will lose one customer so look at this yumminess keep it aside for use later so next step is to allow the chicken breast to rest a bit then cut it into bite size one thing i do with this chicken breast is i don't use all of it i use one i want then keep the rest in the fridge for two days you can even keep it for one week that's how good it is and it tastes so delicious and if you've not given this video a thumbs up please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you're going to try this recipe the vegetable that i'm using is lettuce and cucumber but you can also use any vegetable of your choice just add anything uh, fresh tomato a red cabbage anything that you like for sauce i'm using mayo and ketchup very very simple but you can make up your own if that's what you want and also i'm using whole wheat wrap but you can use the white one i'm also going to use the white one in this video but if you're eating healthy i would advise you use the brown wrap so this is the white wrap but you know as i said the brown wrap is very good it's high in fiber so if you're eating healthy the brown wrap is better so uh, just place two of the brown wrap in a clean surface then add your lettuce add your chicken then add your cucumber as i said you can add tomato add anything of your choice then add ketchup add mayo it's very easy make up your own very very easy add a lot of sauce if you want I add more chicken then lift it up wrap it once then fold each corner that is how i did my fold each corner after folding the two corner then just wrap it up next step is to heat up the wrap here i have my pan and my pan has this line 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 on it that's how i'm going to describe it but you can use a non-stick pan it's still going to do the same job but you might not get you know the effect the line effect so heat it up for four minutes then flip over and you can see what i'm talking about so but if you don't have this kind of pan just use a normal non-stick pan so heat it up on each side for four minutes and you're going to get this result look at this yumminess repeat the same thing with the white one hit it up four minutes on each side and flip over simple very easy to make wrap at home and do you know one thing the wrap you make at home tastes better than takeaway because you know what is inside you've controlled the recipe you've controlled everything you just like the way i heat up my wrap now i do not add any butter anything just you know so next cut it let's see what is inside are you ready for this are you ready for this yumminess guys look at this yumminess delicious delicious the most tastiest wrap chicken wrap so this is how to make chicken wrap at home it is so easy to make let me know if you're going to try this recipe Mm, let me know in the comment section and if you do try it out come back and let me know also if you're watching me from facebook yes i have a facebook page and it's the same name continentalfood.cake please subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook i love you guys and i will see you in another one bye bye